in the Kostroma town centre. Okay, there's the fire tower. There are the trading arches. Uh, more trading arches on that side. You know, the sun's just setting, I guess that would be the town hall. And back here at the fire tower. That's a quick view of Kostruma city centre. Yeah, they had this in Minsk as well. You and I will stop here. Do you need to go there to take pictures from the closer distance? No. Fine, it's okay. back here this is the central square there's the fire tower there and then these are the trading rows these arches here not only there behind us yeah there's more back there and so we decided we're gonna stop on the other side on the way back because this is a big road here it's not quite safe So they have road signs in English, bilingual, which is unusual. And they have the train stations so they're connected to Moscow. This is the largest northern city, I believe, after or before St. Petersburg. Okay, we're gonna be coming back to there anyway, so not to worry. You won't miss anything. I know if I need to stop. I can stop and you can walk here at the central square. Alright, yeah, yeah, let's do that then. Let's do that. Okay. Just a second, I'll see where I can do it legally. Nowhere to stay for the night. We haven't booked anything yet. This place looked decent on booking.com, so we're just gonna go and check out the rooms. Okay, you can tell this is a tourist hotel, but it's 27 Canadian. So that's good price. No toilet, but with a window. So day three, another busy and hectic day. So we're at hotel, I can't remember the name. I'll put it in the description below. So my room ended up being, how much was it? 2,200 rubles, which was 44 Canadian. And Tony's room was 1,300 rubles, which is $26 Canadian. So we shall continue on in the morning. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed the Russia Travel Series. Remember to subscribe to my channel to check out more of my videos.